Hey guys, it's Erica with Sirens Aquatics. Let's take a look at some ways that you can put water to use. If you do a weekly water changes, bi-weekly, monthly, if you do any sort of water change on your aquariums, you'll have leftover water. And these are full of waste, nitrates, all that good stuff. And it's very beneficial for plants. It's basically fertilizer or plant food just not as strong as commercial fertilizers maybe. It really doesn't matter the type of animals you house in your fish tanks. It can be an axolotl, goldfish, betta, it could be plecos, tetras, guppies, anything. They all produce waste. Snails produce waste. There aren't any types of animals that don't produce some sort of waste. And it's very simple to just suck up the solid wastes are useful. Any of this stuff is useful and it's not something you should just toss out, especially if you have any house plants, a garden, or even outdoor shrubbery. They love to be fed fish water. And it will produce some growth possibly faster than you would see for one on its own, for two with regular water, or three with commercial fertilizers. The waste feeds plants. That's how planted tanks work. They feed off of the waste from your fish. It's not just the nitrifying bacteria that helps balance and keep ammonia spikes in check. It's also your plants. Plants aren't just decorations. They serve a huge purpose. While plants can prevent some dangerous spike of ammonia, they aren't some cure. You still have to do water changes of some sort, or if you have a jungle, let's say, you can top it off with aged water. There has been a YouTube video released, um, I think it was Corey, possibly with Aquarium Co-op, where this guy has no water change aquariums in his store, which is amazing, it's totally goals. It's just not what most people have. So you still have to keep up with water changes. My houseplants love, 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 love my water. And I might not give it to them every day, but it's already free from the contaminants that harm houseplants, like chlorine, water softeners, fluorides, etc. And depending on your type of plant, you may water them until you see it flowing out the bottom. That depends on your kind of plant. Um, these are part of the Maranta family. I've got a prayer plant and a medallion. That's a peace lily. They all have their own needs. These all need to flow out the bottom, uh, prevent root rot. Another use for fish water that might just not come to mind immediately does not benefit live plants initially. I love to add fish water to my compost. I'll throw paper, plant products, cuttings, you know, stuff like that, and then I will top it with fish water because you have to moisten your compost to get it to work properly. And what happens is it feeds everything and it all turns into that lovely compost that eventually benefits your plants. So I guess to sum it all up, my favorite use for fish water is for plants, non-aquatic plants. And when I get my garden going this summer, I've already got some seedlings going that will be enjoying some fish water. I will be using my fish water and compost together in my garden. They are working together for my seedlings. They will work together to create that perfect ecosystem to feed my plants and eventually cycle back to feeding me. But you must make sure you're not using any types of medications in your water because that could affect food that you're going to eat. Like you would not want to grow food in a fish tank hydroponically that is dosed with some sort of medication for ick. Even if it's herbal, it's still not safe. So I would avoid that in any situation. But my tanks have not been treated with anything aside from potassium and some vitamin C. But those aren't going to harm the fish or a person eating a food that was produced with that fish water. So just make sure you're using some common sense with the water that you are 
going to feed your plants with and that's pretty much it. These are my two favorite uses for fish water and I have enjoyed sharing them with you. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos and we hope to see you next time.